please, if you would, an introduction. I am the great Casanova, writer of books, lover of women, and alas, hostage. Hostage to an unbroken curse. For over 200 years, my enchanting Lavinia and I have been unjustly imprisoned within the yellowing pages of a book. No, not some tale of intrigue or delicious bit of pornography. No, our purgatory is a child puppet picture book. A crime? Simply that we tasted the passions of love. At least that's what her husband, a hot-tempered sorcerer, said when he cast us into that fairy tale hell. Imagine, trapped for eternity, being neither dead nor alive, denied both the freedom of the spirit and the pleasure of the flesh, and never, never to love again. Why, why, why this endless punishment? Oh. Giacomo, you know perfectly well why. You did nothing but seduce and abandon and ruin perfect marriages. But do you love me? Oh, Lavinia, mi amore, mi bella. Oh, chérie, you still do not understand your mistakes. Mistakes? What a mistake! Is loving a mistake? So victim of a curse we wandered, Lavinia and I, throughout the century, from continent to continent, wherever fate and our prison of paper carried us. And here it is, upon this strange land of brick and steel, that the sea of time has cast us ashore. Past a small, quiet corner. Inside a shop that sells old books. Way back on a dusty and forgotten shelf. Aladdin. Eighty years in a bookseller in Venice. Fifty years in France. Seventy years in Spain and a hundred years here. Lavinia. Oh, Lavinia, I am losing hope. Don't worry, mon chéri. Someone will buy this book and open it to the right page. Then you will be able to redeem yourself. Yes. And you will repair a broken love, and the curse will disappear, and we will be free souls. The only way this spell can be unlocked is if I save a broken marriage. And it seems that fate has finally delivered the key. This just makes it so hard to find this key sometimes. What do you open half a key? Come on, take a ball, boys, when it's long from over. What matter of words is this? Were ragamuffin beggars steal books and burn them for firewood? Gotta read every freaking page, let's just cut these suckers! Salen says that the slow roast only works when you comprehend your fuel. If only a simple flame could set us free. But no, that would be far too easy. You know, the colder it gets, the deeper these damn fleas burrow. You got that right. There's always our winter retreat. Now look, the miser is still awake. Bobby! Helene. It's not a good day. Oh, 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 um, Robert. He's broke. Robert, you are the brother. Nice to meet you, Hilly. It's the not... birthday girl upstairs. <laughs> uh, 
please. He's supposed to go and do a seance for us. No, no. Claudia is very tired, and I'd like to get a little reading done. The guy's a mute. Quiet! I'll get him out of there. Silence! Get out of there! Come on, Bobby. Get out of here. That old bookstore is a perfect temple for contacting the spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Gates of hell. Open wide, set free your chosen ones. Ancestors. Forefathers. Predecessors. Now, show yourselves to your humble son. Oh, my. How did you do that? Spirits. Give us another sign. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. oh my God! Oh, Robert, be careful. Bobby, be careful. Toppling over. Their very powerful spirits reside here. You almost burned the bookstore down. Oh. Oh. Yes. Well, please, Boo Darling. Time to go. Electricity is back. Feel better, Robert? Oh. I'll go get you some ice, okay? Fine. Ha, 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 ha. 
guarda un po', sono proprio libero, ma 300, ma guarda tutti questi libri, uno libro, libro qua, libro qua, ma co, co, ma, oh, oh, ciao, ciao, ma tu chi sei? Oh, ma, oh, ma cose? Ho spesso di Dutch? Oh, hablo spagnolo? You are a mute. Good. I like a man with a short tongue. Eh? My secret will be safe with you. Do me a favor. Give me your clothes. Eh? È ancora buono a casa nuova, eh? Eh. this paper right here. That's it, right there. What is this? My great-grandfather opened this bookstore, and I will absolutely not, absolutely not, allow anyone to sell it. Grandpa, you might as well know the truth. Claudia and I have gotten a divorce splitting up the property. I get the bookstore and she gets the house. And that way, you can live out the rest of your days where you grew up. Now, please, do you understand the importance of this document? Let us all start over again. Festus. Says that a ghost took his clothes, and he doesn't know why. <laughs> Next thing you know, it'd be Thomas. He saw the Virgin Mary too. Who are you? I thought I told you, homeless people. You could sleep in the store, but upstairs is off limits. I am a new in the city, just off the boat from Italy. Italy? My great-grandfather came from Italy. What a crazy idea to leave such a beautiful country. <coughs> Are you here? Oh, today I found out that my granddaughter is getting divorced. I might as well die. Tell me, old man, 
about your granddaughter and her husband? From the start, I thought they would make a perfect pair. One writer, one painter, both of them artists, you know. They were so in love when they were young, enjoying all the beauties of life. And then, suddenly, I don't know, it just seemed to evaporate. Hmm. Huh? What's this? I don't feel any, any pain. My, my arthritis is gone. I feel so, so much better. Like, I can't understand it. Someone will buy this book and open it to the right page. And you will be able to redeem yourself. And you will repair the broken love. And the curse will disappear. And we will be free souls. <laughs> No, 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 no. Look, I'm all right. See? Oh, my God. Someone must have heard my prayers. Prayers, schmears. It's all thanks to your husband. When he told me about the divorce, there was a big shock in me. It was just what the doctor ordered, because it must have unblocked something. Oh, uh, here's Jack. He just recently arrived from Italy in search of his fortune. Oh, seeking his fortune in our house. My great-grandfather came over from Italy in tattered pants and holes in his shoes. So don't be such a judge. Anyway, Jack is going to give me a hand in the bookstore. La, 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 la. Hey, <laughs> this guy looks better in those clothes than Silent did. You know, I think he was born under a lucky star. He already got a job in the bookstore, for Christ's sake. <laughs> ah, to be of the flesh. They are foolish, they are weak. But they are gloriously, wondrously All right, but let's not alive. Oh, no. Jack is my assistant in the store. Oh, it's si, senor. Si, si. So don't you try to steal him away from me, oh, you senor, hear? Never, never, never. All right. You'll have to excuse us, ladies, but Jack and I have got to rearrange all the books on the shelves. My grandfather came here with tattered clothes and holes in his shoes, if I hear that one more time. How did you get in here? I am a ghost. I was freed yesterday. Grazie, grazie a Dio. Yeah, a ghost, great. Why don't you walk through the door on your way out? Amico mio. I prefer the subtle pleasure of speaking without moving my lips. Clever trick. I can make things appear at will. know who I am, otherwise I can't help you. Are you the devil? No, I am a ghost. I told you. Well, then, how can you touch things and, and you have a body and... Uh, look. It appears that I am using my body. But actually, I am losing my mind.
Roberti, ma dove vai? I too was a writer of the 18th century. Robertino, I moved in circles of splendor and luxury. But I wrote dozens of novels and never got any credit. For example, I wrote this. No, you didn't. Casanova wrote this. <laughs> Nonsense. Casanova was talented with women, yes, but he could barely spell his own name. I did all the writing for him. I followed him everywhere. I gave him all my ideas. And then, when he didn't need me anymore, he murdered me and took all of the credit. That's totally absurd. Look. Stabbed by a dagger from Bellini and Santos of Venice. Mind you, he's the best sort of smith in Italy. Is that possible? I was his ghostwriter, Robert. Do you know who Casanova was? His works have been translated into 37 languages. If you just rubbed elbows with him, you would be a legend, a master. Maybe. But now I'm still a poor lost soul. And the only way for me to find peace is to help a poor writer. Someone like you. Sorry, my friend, but you can't know who I really am. For you have a journey ahead, and you must go it alone. The modern world is a very harsh place for romance, Lavinia. Did you explain to them who you were? Not exactly. Giacomo, if you cannot reunite a couple, we will be damned forever. It's a very complicated case. You remember, it must be pure love. Do not confuse sex with love. Don't make your usual mistake. Don't worry, Lavinia. Your first lesson. If you want to write about seduction and love, you need to experience seduction and love. Imagine that your house is at the backdrop of the book. Here. Yeah. Now tonight, after a romantic dinner with Claudia, you seduce her, and tomorrow you write about it. No, 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 no. I can't do that with Claudia. We just got divorced. That's exactly what a Casanova would have done. He would have seduced his wife, the maid, even his own sister, if it was necessary. I know, I know. You seduce Claudia, and then I'll observe and write about it like you did with Casanova. <laughs> no. Why? Why? I have no experience with modern women. And besides, if you want to be a good rider, you have to learn how to sacrifice. I'm willing to sacrifice anything to get this novel in that bookstore window. Good, Robert. Good. So let's it tonight be the first experiment. See my efforts come to fruition as Robert and Claudia reunite. Little pepper, please. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, oh how bad. Oh. I'm going to have to wash this. Gracias, Yolanda. Oh. <laughs> Robert, ever since that bookshelf fell on you, you've been acting so strange. Well, we're divorced and having dinner, and it's. It's creating new sensations within me. You're stimulating. Bravo, Roberto. Bravo. Now, pour us some more wine. So, are you saying that you want to get back together? You have to admit, marriage sort of 
put a damper on some of our most secret desires? Mm. Start with a compliment. I don't know, Claudia. I just, I'm very inspired tonight. I think you're bringing out the beast. Robert? <coughs> Fishbone. Roberto, 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 wake up, wake up. I forget no about our plan. Eh? Come on, Aunt, are you supposed to say to, sir? I was just thinking. used to be in that old water bed. Uh-huh. Remember how we used to wrap our arms around each other? Robert! What the? What's that? No! No, stay in the dark! Stay in the dark! Al buio si fa l'amore! What the devil is that stuff? What the devil is that? A beauty mask. It's disgusting. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're so mean, you ruined everything! How can I work with an idiot like that? Madal, Madal, Madal. He is a completely psychoneurotic. Psychoneurotic? He's overstressed. He needs a shrink. Oh, Giacomo, you are speaking very strangely. But he treats her so badly. She's so tender. And Claudia... Claudia needs a real man. She's... I, I know, Giacomo! Don't even think about it! Remember what happened last time, Giacomo, please! wanted to be a writer. I do. I just don't want to do it your way. I screwed up enough with Claudia already. I don't want to give any more mixed signals. Change is what I need. I need change from, from all of this. Maybe I have a solution. What? Spit it out. I'm offering you the chance to trade places with me. Look, just temporarily. Just long enough for you to find the inspiration for your novel. But you're dead. You're a ghost. Yes, precisely. Huh? Think about the advantages. No longer slaver to your body. Pure mental energy. Mental energy? Yes. You can travel through time. It is possible, I assure you. We can trade a place. <laughs> and I'll stay here in this madhouse and take care of the old man. Yeah. <laughs> the temperature has to go down to 32 degrees for you to leave your body. Right. Oh, I'm so cold. I'm freezing. You know, I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. Bravo. <laughs> Don't worry, Robert. You will feel much better. Oh. Much better. Okay. I feel strange.
alive. Maestro, Maestro, tell me all about my powers, everything. You can materialize an object. You can disappear, you can fly. Mm. Mm. You can turn yourself into an animal. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hunt a house. Mm. Why can I still see my body? You desire physicality. Even the smallest result depends on the intensity of your desire. You can try something a little more um, original. <laughs> Robert and Claudia feel about you being here. I have to get my medication. <laughs> That's incredible. He never saw me. I'm completely invisible. <clears throat> and I suggest that you stay like that. Why? Well, to concentrate on your writing. And, and then when I finish the novel, we'll trade places again. Well, but only, only when you're finished, eh? When you come back, and you're published, and you're famous, everybody respects you, you're gonna be like a prince. Prince? Robert is gone. I am sorry, Claudia. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. Only a spineless man would leave like that. I know. Robert doesn't understand about love. He has so many lessons to learn. And he's so desperate about his novel. Desperate about his novel? He's a fool about his novel. He's got you believing it. Robert, Robert, Robert. What are you still doing here? I thought that you were so anxious to travel. Well, I was wondering, can I travel through time? But of course, Robert. You're a ghost. <laughs> It was amazing. I, I went to ancient Rome, to Greece, to Babylonia. I saw, I saw the birth of civilization. I have, to, I have to write down my experiences. This is gonna be the best novel ever. Get a little fuel. Silent. Let's take those papers and get out of here. What do you got? He says that these pages are the nectar of true romance. You called everybody over here to tell us that? <laughs>
even if we can't be together. That's my little lamb. Now you gotta make your dreams come true. Stop worrying about Robert. All you have to do is wiggle that little ass of yours and paint. Please, you'll be fine. Hey, hey, I don't know. Huh? Give it back to the lady. Now say you're sorry. I'm very sorry, ma'am. I hated to see a woman being taken advantage of. It drives me crazy with rage. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. How could you accept five bucks to make him a hero in front of those two ladies? Hey, he said it was to help Robert. <laughs> to give me a heart attack. Huh? Some professional advice. I need an example of true love. Something that even defies death. Oh, Verona. 15 or 30, Romeo and Juliet. No, 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 something real. Romeo and Juliet never existed. Robert, why don't you try and find for yourself, eh? Huh? Bye. What's the matter with Claudia? Is that my little baby dinosaur boy? Claudia! Shh, 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 he's sleeping. Well, I can see that. She's stressed, Pappy. Leave her alone. Well, then let's get her to a room. This is no place for her to unstress. Estos. Let me handle this.
everybody to see you. I met Shakespeare too. I said, very good, Robert. Very good. Now go away. Crawl away. Seeing how well Claudia and I were getting along, Festus offered us opera ticket for tonight. What's playing? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Don Giovanni. Gracias. Maestro, Robert, what happened to you? Oh, I met the Marquis de Sade. Brilliant soul, and he's so misunderstood. If I could only find the modern equivalent for my novel, it'd be a great character. What are you waiting for? Go, travel, create. I have been. I, I wanted to show you what I've written to this point. I'm very proud of it. I want your opinion. All right. Now, Robert. Festus told me that you never met your mother. Yes, so? Well, now that you're a ghost and you can travel, why don't you go and meet her? I'm, I'm really not interested. I want you to show, I want you to read this. Robert, when I was a ghost, going and see my mother was my favorite trip. I must have witnessed my birth at least a dozen times. And the first time I nursed on my mother's breast. Robert, I must have seen that at least a hundred times. Oh, such a woman was my mother. take this. I gave it to Robert about a year ago for a present, but he never wore it. Grazie. Okay. Oh. Grazie, Dio. We're going to the opera. You can afford to be dramatic. This much? Yes. Okay. In a 1700s. Wearing a beauty mark on your cheek meant that you were married. But right above the lip meant that the damsel was looking for a husband. Did you know that? No. Where did you learn all this stuff? Oh, Claudia, the places I've been. Oh, oh Claudia, we're going to be late for the opera. Jack. Did you read the pages I gave you? The pages? Robert, uh, yes, I read it a bit. It's beautiful. <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, are you sure? Because I, maybe a little something missing. Robert, Robert, it is brilliant. You are a master. Dad, keep up with the good work. Thank you. Jack! Mm. You are mm. beautiful. Thank you. We gotta go. The cab is waiting. The cab? Yes. <laughs> Andiamo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please, just one more. The last one. But just one. Okay. <laughs> ah. What does it mean when a man has beauty marks all over his face? <laughs> it means that he has many, many women. <laughs> 
Like Don Giovanni. Don Giovanni, no. Don Giovanni was an amateur. An amateur? <laughs> I had so much fun tonight. Oh, me too, my darling. Me too. Giacomo, well, you must be patient. Giacomo? Oh, Giacomo, you are doing this again. You never learn your lesson. Maestro, maestro, uh, wake up. I finished. I'm not going to late. I want you to read it before I send it to the publisher. Robert, come on. I am a human now. I get tired of that night, eh? Please, please, I, I want your blessing. It's a quick read. <laughs> oh, Robert, give me the bad script, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I won't bother you again tonight. I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? Thank you. Oh. Happy birthday, Claudia. Open it. A puppy. <laughs> oh, my God, how did you know? He's so cute. <gasps> Claudia, but for you, I would lasso the moon. Gift number two. Happy birthday. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's impossible. Giacomo! A whole year has gone by. It's Claudia's birthday again. How can that be? We just traded places. It seems like yesterday. Robert, just relax. Relax? Robert, when you're a ghost, you have an entirely different sense of time. When you travel, you can be gone for, is it two seconds? Or two months? What does it matter? You never grow old. Even the smallest result depends on the intensity of your desire. It's Robert. Robert Zamboni. Are you out of your mind? It's 6 a.m. I know, but I finished it. I finally finished it, Sarah. What? My novel. Oh, you are going to love this. It is so great. I'm FedExing it right now to you. Oh, you've gone too far this time, Robert. That's it. Uh... Strange things are happening to me. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble picking things up. I tried to make a phone call. I couldn't even pick up the receiver. And look at me. Look how pale I am. I look sick. It must be stress. Yes, it is. It is stress. It happens to me all the time. You just have to relax and stop using your mind for a while. You'll see. Everything is going to be just fine. Sarah. Oh, my God. Sarah! Sarah? You can't see me. Wanda. Jack! Jack, come on! Come on downstairs, quick! Uh, Robert, Robert, I can hardly see you. I'm, eh? I'm right here. Come on, the publisher's here. Come on! The, 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 the publisher. The publisher. Come on! Hello, I'm looking for Robert Zamboni. You are the publisher. Yes. And so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Robert, never let on a thing. 
So where is that wild man? That a wild man is it traveling around the world? <laughs> I feel terrible about how I underestimated him, so. Nonsense, nonsense. He's a free spirit. <laughs> he appointed me his personal secretary while he's away. Good. Oh, I see. Well, then I'll tell you. We were so impressed with Robert's work that we've decided to put it into rush status. The first prince will be out next week. Yes. <laughs> you are absolutely beautiful. The book is truly the most beautiful thing I've ever read. $50,000. <laughs> Robert deserves every penny. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, a little coffee. No, 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 no. I have to go. I'm arranging the publicity for the novel. We're going to release the largest number of copies in our company's history. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Robert, oh, she's oh, beautiful. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Oh, my God. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I have to tell Claudia. I have to tell the old man. I have to, I have to tell the maid. I have to tell everyone. Come on, now, let's trade back. I'm afraid that's not possible, Robert. Well, what do you mean? Come on, I want my body back. How can you talk to me like this after all I've done it for? We had a deal. You didn't think I would let you come back, did you? You are so naive, Robert. I am in love with Claudia, and she needs me. She's my wife. You divorced her, remember? Besides, I know how to take care of a woman like her. You were never able to because of your insecurities, because of your fears. But it doesn't matter now. It's all over, Robert. I am alive. I have a body, and I will use it. I must use it, Robert. Ah. Claudia, Claudia, it's me. Claudia, it's me, it's Robert. I never left the house. Cla Claudia, Claudia, stop painting, I'm right here. I've never left. Robert? Oh, thank God you can see me. What are you doing eating carrots? You named the dog Robert? You bastard, stop pretending you can't see me. Hey! Hey, that's my check. Second, I'm gonna haunt you. I'm gonna be over your shoulder till you change things back the way they were. Till you're in your grave. Get the dang. I don't think we'll be needing the maid anymore because I can manage myself. My darling, you are so selfless, so giving. But I don't want these beautiful hands to hold anything but your paintbrushes. And this ring. Jack. Oh, it's beautiful. I am proposing to you, my sweet love. I didn't cry when I proposed.
Forgive me, Jack. It's just that sometimes I still feel Robert's presence. Ha! It's so eerie in this house. Then let's go away to Italy. We can get married there. Yes, let's go to Venice. Yes, we can sell everything and get out of here. Okay. Oh, Claudia. Look at this. Lovers Flying High by Robert Zamboni. Who would have thought? He did it! I always thought that that little genius would go far. I'm worried about Robert. I called the publishers. Nobody knows anything. Let it go, Claudia. You're getting married, for Christ's sakes. I was just concerned. That's all. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. If he was so disinterested in us before, imagine now he'd be some literary maven. It is a hunger, I am Casanova, and there are women alive, breathing and yearning. Ridi pagliaccio! Because I love you too. Because I love women. Because I love a beauty. <laughs> I want to love you all. Careful. You'll hurt someone. I don't want to hurt anybody. But I can't help it myself. Maybe I can change. <laughs> you will never change. You are just one big overgrown Casanova. What? Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. I like you just the way you are. Hilly. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I really misjudged you. Forgive me, Grandpa. Ciao, Festus. I needed to talk to you about Claudia's future. Claudia and I are planning to get married and to move to Italy. And me? You're coming with us. We sell at the bookstore. I'm not selling. This is a family business, Jack. You know that. Yes, Festus, but don't you care about Claudia's happiness? What if Robert decides to come back? Don't worry. You won't. Damn you. I feel I sold him short. I always misjudged him. I don't think so. Festus, Robert never cared very much about you. You know what he said before he left? That he couldn't stand you. That you were a useless burden to him. Well, maybe he was right. I didn't make his life easy for him either, you know, Jack. I just wished that I could see him again so I could apologize to him. Look at this. I put his favorite books all the way up here, just to spite him. Festus, can we please talk about my proposal? No! Festus, please come it down. No! Come it down! Come it down! Festus, come it down! Festus! You old fool. In nomine Padri, Figli, e Spiriti Santo.
was a good man, Claudio. You know what he said before he died? What? Marry Claudia and make her happy. You liar! He's lying! There are too many bad memories in this house. Too many ghosts to prevent us from being happy. I think you're right, Jack. Alan says that Jack is going to have to reckon with Robert when he gets back. Yeah. That dupus ain't coming back. I'll tell you that right now. With Robert gone, Jack will probably sell the bookstore, and then we'll have no place to sleep. You have made my dream reality. At last, my dream is about to come true. I'll send you the completed documents the moment they're ready. Thank you very much, Mr. Thompson. You're very welcome. I've never been jealous of Claudia. Until now. The passion of your jealousy is so delicious, so exciting. What is your problem? You've already read it. 
side, for Christ's sake. Yes. He says that you ought to have respect for Robert's book. And I say that there's a modicum of truth to that. I must concur. No, no. Burn them all. I don't deserve any respect. I was a jerk. That doofus was always such a jerk to us. I don't believe you two are defending him! He says that Robert became a new person ever since the ghost came on the scene. What? Oh, Silent knows about the ghost? But it's what? Not this story, man. I've had that ghost right after here! Are you a ghost like me? Giacomo was supposed to help put your marriage back together. He was supposed to save us. Now I am condemned forever. I am a damned soul. He lied to me. He tricked me. How could you have given him free range of your home? Don't you know anything about Casanova? Casanova? He said he was his writer. I was his ghostwriter, Robert. How foolish it was for you to believe him. How foolish to allow him to murder you. Murder me? He gave you something to drink that night, did he not? You will feel better. It was a poison. He is an expert at these things. This is all my fault. I've always been so selfish. Poor Claudia. Sweet Claudia. I'll destroy her. I can't let that happen. I've got, I've got to warn her. It is impossible. You cannot speak to her. You cannot speak to anyone. Unless a medium calls you forth. Or else. Or else? You must find the body of someone who has just died. Festus. I've always secretly loved you, Festus. Sorry, Dolores. But who that thought? Can you believe I'm getting married again? No, <laughs> I can't. Hold oh, on, Grandpa. 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 It was. 
was Jack who pushed me down the ladder. Jack is a cheat and a liar. Is this the man you want to marry? Proud, yeah? Um, I, I can't explain. No, no, no. no. Grandpa! I'm, I'm all right. I know you. I'm all right, bastard. I'm all right. Lord, Robert still loves you. Robert is gone. Didn't you read his novel? No. To the only woman of my life, Claudia. Oh. You are all so pathetic. So pathetic. I am leaving. <laughs> I don't need any money. I don't need anything. Claudia, this is for you. You know where Robert is? You know where he is, Grandpa? Did something happen to him? Did it, Grandpa? Tell me where he is. I still love him. I still love you, too. True love can do this. Oh, Giacomo, you broke the spell. What is it, Jane? Oh, dear, no. Dear, no. We're in the bookstore, and, and, and we were having a seance. The, the bookshelf caught on fire, and, and you fell on top of you, remember? Claudia's birthday party. Uh -huh. Yes. What year is it? Well, I think we should call a doctor. <laughs> Am I a great writer? Uh, yeah. No, 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 the truth, the truth. No. 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 <laughs> Electricity's back. <laughs> I have something to show you. Come on. 
No and void. No and void. This divorce is null and void. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling okay? Oh, I love you so much. Uh, well, maybe we should um, help clean up the mess. Yeah. Yeah. Robert, sometimes I really don't understand you. <laughs> Pestis. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. How do you feel, Festus? Does your arm still hurt right here when you lift it up? Yes. And, and right here on your knee when you lift your right foot? Yes. <laughs> How do you know about that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just keep warm, my friend. Just keep warm. Robert, are you okay? I'm so okay. I think it just took a big bump on my head to make me realize what's really important in life. What's important is family. It's as important as you. Oh, Robert. Bravo, Giacomo. For a moment, I thought you had forgotten about me. I had to adopt a very complex strategy. For it to work, my dear, it had to be true love. I had to be very, very convincing. But of course, you are right. How foolish of me it was to think that you could be interested in that one. She's certainly not your type. What are you looking at? Nothing. Earthly love. It is so exhausting. It's over. Finally. Life has been redeemed. And spirits set free. And love has always has found the way. <laughs>